Hi, my name is Andrew Chen, and I'm an investment analyst here at Mirai Asset, covering regional technology hardware and semiconductor. And today, we will talk about can China develop its own semiconductor industry despite the U.S. pressure. So China is the largest purchaser of semiconductor globally, but it has a small presence on the supply side. And China accounts for about 34% of global semiconductor end demand in 2018. It's the largest region globally. And in 2019, China imported about 306 billion US dollar worth of integrated circuit product, which is one of the largest imported products. On the other hand, it only had about 5% market share in the semiconductor industry in 2018. So the need to develop a domestic semiconductor industry comes naturally due to the strong local demand. So for sanctions on China's semiconductor, the US has been more company specific, mainly targeting Huawei. So under the current ban, companies cannot produce or sell chips to Huawei if they use any US technology in the manufacturing or design process. So we think areas like chip design, foundry, assembly, and packaging are relatively easier to localize. While chip design software, semiconductor production equipment still have a high barrier. For chip design, for example, a few development in an industry lower the barrier for Chinese companies to catch up. First one is the development of the fabulous model, which separates the design and the production of chips. This greatly reduces the capital expenditure burden on the chip design companies and provide them with flexibility in capacity expansions. And the second is that ARM licenses architecture and core design for fabulous companies to innovate on top of their foundation. And this lowers the barriers to enter the chip design business. So in 2014, there were only about 680 chip design companies in China. And by 2018, that number reached 1,698. And foundries also have a high potential to localize as domestic foundries are growing rapidly with some of the companies breaking into advanced process. So we think talent, policy, and local demand are the three key factors to developing China's own semiconductor industry. On the talent side, leading local semiconductor companies continue to hire graduates and vigorously develop vocational training locally. And more experienced overseas Chinese or ethnic Chinese engineers also coming back to join China semiconductor companies. On the policy side, the China Integrated Circuit Industry Investment Fund, or so-called the Big Fund, invests in chip manufacturing and designing companies in China. And the government also introduced policy around capital market fundraising and tax breaks to support the industry. And lastly, the strong local demand is also important as Chinese companies continue to gain market share in areas like PC, smartphone, telecom equipment, and other electronics.